So we are walking south on Connecticut Avenue in Washington, D.C. towards Calvert Street. We have just left from the former site of WMAL television station where Elvis Presley did his interview with Jimmy Dean in 1956. And we're heading to another site to explore where another famous rock band made history. So at the corner, we are going to make a right and we are going to reach the famous Omni Sherm Hotel. Now this hotel has been the host site for inaugural balls for every president from Roosevelt to, I believe, Clinton. It is here where Hoover hosted many of his poker games, where JFK courted Jacqueline Bouvier in the Blue Room, and where Bill Clinton played his saxophone for his inaugural attendees. It was uh, also the home of Henry L. Darty, the founder of Sitco, and whose family uh, resided on the eighth floor penthouse. And it was decorated with furnishings from Napoleon Bonaparte. Uh, there are a couple of movies that were made here. Um, Pelican Brief, starring Denzel Washington and Julia Roberts. Also, No Way Out with Kevin Costner, and in 2003, Shattered Glass. But the Omni Shurum was not only the site of presidents and industry titans, it was also the site where many entertainers and uh, musicians had stayed or performed. Some of the most notable Entertainers were Louis Armstrong and Lena Horne. We also had the famous Diana Ross and the Supremes, as well as Liza Minnelli, a very famous French artist, Edith Piaf, and we also had Rudy valley and the amazing Jimi Hendrix as well as Liberace and we also have Sonny and Cher and the chairman of the board Frank Sinatra but the band who created the biggest chaos at the Sherm Hotel were the Beatles the Beatles had landed in America on February 7, 1964 at New York's newly named JFK Airport to begin their first U.S. tour. And after their famous appearance on the Ed Sullivan Show in New York, they took a train from Penn Station to Union Station, and then they headed to the famous Sherham Hotel. It was in the, uh, their suite on the sixth floor where John Lennon had grabbed a piece of Sherham letterhead paper to write down their set list for this performance. Um, as you can see, it is here on display down the West Hall of the now named Omni Sherham Hotel. So how the story goes is that while performing at the Washington Coliseum on February 11th, the crowd would throw jelly babies or what we call jelly beans at the Beatles because Paul once com commented that they liked them. He later regretted ever saying that. Well, after the concert and the Beatles left the stage, the fans jumped onto the stage to retrieve the jelly beans, hoping to find one squished by a band member. There was a 13 year old girl standing off the stage while pandemonium was going on and a police officer noticed her just standing there. So he had grabbed a piece of paper off the stage and just shoved it in her hand. She then realized it was the set list. And 30 years later, she had sold it to a collector and it ended up back at the Sherham Hotel for display. Read the full story as it is displayed in the hotel lobby by pausing the video. So we set out to find the room that the Beatles stayed in. Uh, Wikipedia said that they stayed on the seventh floor and we were told by someone room 525 
but I was given a hotel history paper from the concierge Steve who said it was on the sixth floor. So I decided I would try 625. So we got off at the sixth floor um, from the east tower elevators and we just followed the room signs and we figured it was down this hallway and I think that we found it. Let's see. Something on that door. So, yep, here it is. The Beetle Suite. And there's a do not disturb, so I probably am not going to get in. Let's see if we can find another way. So this is our fourth floor suite. And if you follow the windows all the way around, all the way to the hall that we were at, that would be the end of the building. Count two stories up and there it is from the outside, the beetle suite. That would be third from the top right there and I'm going to show you what they would have seen from the view from their room. So their room is not only that last window but it's also that uh, semicircular window and it overlooks Rock Creek Park and they have beautiful views. This is the view from our suite and uh, it's a really nice hotel. Staff is amazing. I would give it a thumbs up. So it's a good place if you want to check out some rock and roll history. Really close to the metro station that you can access um, downtown. And it's right down the road from the National Zoo. According to the documentation, um, there was so much chaos in the lobby of the hotel that the Beatles had to be snuck out of the back in order to make it to their uh, show at the Washington Coliseum. So again, if you're in Washington, D.C., check out this hotel. Great rates. Um, just look it up, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Oh my.